Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, just want to go ahead and highlight a couple of things if I could. The first thing people need to know is there are way too many so-called remedies out there. Everybody keeps saying that government must provide you a remedy. Well, they do provide you a remedy. Most people don't know how to access these remedies, but they do provide remedies. If they didn't provide remedies, then we would not be able to pay attention, accomplish anything. So they provide remedies, but there are too many of them out there. So what did we do? Well, we gave you the, the route. What route? Well, there is a premise or a basis for everything, where everything gets started. Now, everything is 1933, particularly March the 6th, 1933. That's where President Roosevelt enacted the Presidential Proclamation 2039. That Presidential Proclamation 2039 has been amended a couple of times. Nothing significant, but it's still in effect. Now, that essentially declared martial law, not in the sense of military on the street, but giving the president in the capacity of commander in chief total control of the United States over the people. Don't believe me? Go back and read the history. Congress said it. All you got to do is type in the Congressional, well, the Senate Committee. It's called the Special Committee on the Termination of National Emergencies. All you got to do is type that in. You'll see that they enacted more than 470 laws. Now, it's a whole lot more than that. That was 1973. They've enacted other laws in conjunction with that junk to where they're probably more so closer to 800 as opposed to 400. But they've enacted those laws, which affect your lives, violates the Constitution at least 400 times. That's what the Senate committee was saying. But be that as it may, everything centers around that. Now, what it the presidential proclamation do it declared a bank holiday what do you mean well it said that all banking activities was suspended so you can't buy anything you haven't been able to buy anything or purchase anything since 1933 so what did they talk about gross domestic product and all of that junk oh well they're, they're talking about a system that they created you see this system was always unsustainable. That's why they've had to revamp it several times. Okay, the system of fiat currency is always unsustainable. What they did, pay attention, what was deemed money, lawful money, prior to 1933 was changed. They recreated words. They redefined what gold was. So money is still backed by gold, but not the gold as in the precious metal, but gold as defined by Congress, because there was no prohibition or restriction on what was classified as gold. Go ahead. The Constitution says that no state may coin anything but gold and silver as money. Okay, hold on. What was gold and silver? That's the point. The Constitution never defined it. And they like going by the letter of the law. So they believe they have the right to redefine it. And they did. So the issue here is, pay attention, what is not cash? No, 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 no. Non-cash does not mean not cash. It means non-cash. It means it's cash, but it's not cash. That sounds confusing. Exactly what they intended it to be. Okay, hold on. Non-cash items can be recognized as legitimate financial assets, which is supported by various case law. The provided citations illustrate, illustrate how the courts have treated non-cash items in financial reporting and legal contracts, or legal contexts. Um, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, because I'm definitely going to be talking about contracts. Sorry about that. That's why I paused. Ladies and gentlemen, need y'all to understand. Debt forgiveness and its implications. Now, what we've done is there's a document. I put all of the contents of the document here. Okay? There's a document. You're going to get the PDF link in the description. You're going to have to copy and paste it. That document covers the entire gambit. Ask all the questions. 
tells you how we arrived at it, gives you the case citations for understanding how to document non-cash items. Now, for those of you who have your federal credits, you received federal credits, you have federal credits, you just need to apply it to your taxes. That's what this document does. You'll get a copy of the PDF. Now, the idea is to take it slow because, see, a lot of people are greedy. And greed kills everyone. Greed will kill you. A lot of people are greedy. You cannot be greedy with this. Now, I will tell you for the sake of everything to this present day, to the present day, I got to put y'all on pause for a second. I got to check something out. Give me one I didn't want to speak too soon. And so I had to go check because I received a letter in our mailbox from the IRS. And I was going to say to this day, after sending them my 1099Cs for the amount that we told you all about, they haven't returned a single thing. I don't expect them to return it. But before I had spoken, I needed to... My job is to make sure when I speak to you guys that I am speaking accurately. I'm not just speaking out the side of my neck. Too many people do that. Too many people comment just to be commenting, just to be commenting, just to be saying something. And, you know, because they want views. Go ahead and take a look at my previous videos. I don't do the shock and awe. I don't do the sensational stupidity. The rule is, to find my channel, you have to be looking for the information. If you build it, they will come. That's how my channel is designed, from day one. Everybody who finds my channel, I didn't know about your channel. Of course you didn't. But just at that moment when you needed it, you found it. And then you binge watch because, dude, that's a lot of information by design. So, to get the most out of it, what you're going to have to do is understand every video is secessional, not sensational, secessional. They follow a session. If I'm talking about this subject, I'm going to do several videos on that one subject. So, look at the surrounding videos because you'll get the full context. I do not label my videos specifically. A lot of people have not been happy with that. I don't give a, <coughs> excuse me, um, um, I mean, I don't care what you're happy about or not happy about. I am not here to cater to your needs, nor am I here to satisfy your needs. If you want someone to satisfy your needs, go look in the mirror and attend to yourself. But I don't have time for that. My videos are designed for my people. Who are my people? They know who they are. Are you my people? If you have to ask the question, then no, you're not. You see how simple that is? You can't get more simple than that. Now, this document, which talks about non-cash items. What are non-cash items? Well, your federal credits are non-cash items. They have a value as valued by Congress. So, as I said yesterday on a TikTok video, and I put the video up on YouTube, I'll say it again. I do not receive a conventional salary. I haven't received a conventional salary with the exception of one time. Made sure that I did not earn anything within the threshold. I don't have a salary. I don't have an income. All of my monies are deferred. My monies have been deferred or my compensation package has been deferred for the last 15 years. I haven't received anything. It's been deferred. When I file, shock and awe! That's what's about to happen. I'm not concerned. I am not rich. Well, technically I am, but then I'm not. Okay? I don't want money. Don't need money. Well, why do you charge people? Because your mama told me to. Sorry, I deal with that type of ignorance all the time. Your logic is not my logic, so stop using that stupidity with me. Sorry, there are a lot of people out there who 
every time somebody says something, they have to rebut it, but they rebut it with stupidity. When I say that I don't need money, I am never, ever saying that I don't have businesses and those businesses need to function. I said, I don't need money. Didn't say anything about the businesses. And that's the other thing. A lot of people want the businesses to offer them discounts. The businesses already offer you discounts. How do you think they earn their funds? The discount they offer you allows them to do pay attention write-offs. Those write-offs, they transfer to the other companies. By transferring it to the other companies by way of compensation, because we have a compensation packet for each of those companies, they now get to write that off and obtain a potential refund. We pay it forward. So we are looking out for our clients. And I do want you all to understand by discounting, Give me one second. Sorry. I definitely got to look at this because somebody wrote me something and I wrote them back, you know, do your research first. And they're writing me back about whether or not they did their research. And I'm curious. Uh, give me one second. They, uh, <laughs> they just reposted what I wrote and ta-da so basically they're letting me know I did and so I'm letting them know then stop bugging me on a Saturday because it don't work like that and you know we, we, we you know back and forth all right look for the rest of you please read the document everything that I could have said would have said was gonna say is here. We're going to be talking about this for a moment. So start your research now. If you received federal credits, if you received tax credits from any of the organizations ran by me or established by me, go do your research. If you're part of the $400 billion lawsuit, do your research. It's right here for you, telling you how to bring that amount to fruition. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Let me say it again. Do not get greedy. Many of you are going to want to be greedy. Why? Because that's human nature. So, Michael told me to tell y'all that it's human nature. No, he said if y'all ask why, to tell y'all that. So it's human nature to be greedy. Okie dokie. All right. I just got to go have a Coke and a smile because... You know, I don't know how to have anything else. And with that being said, take care of yourselves. We'll talk soon. Arrivederci.